Hi everybody, Steve here, and welcome to a new game, Wizard of Legend. Now I know this game has been out, I want to say, almost a year, because um, I have seen some uh, videos on YouTube of this game, um, but I was able to get my hands on this through a Humble Bundle that is going on right now for like, I think another five days or so from the point of me recording this. Um, and I'm going to put a link down at the bottom for all the games that you can go and check out. But it's And it's got like, uh, it's mostly games, but it's got some a couple audio books, a couple of like tabletop game rule books and whatnot, if you want to check all that out. Um, some uh, digital books. But it's, it's their COVID-19 um, quarantine uh, humble bundle package that they're doing right now. Um, all of the benefits... Um, of buying this bundle does go to help fight the cause. So go check it out. It uh, gives you, a, it's, you know, a good reason to get uh, some new games and all for a good cause. So you really can't go wrong, in my opinion. Now I am playing this with a controller. You can play it with keyboard and mouse as well. Uh, it's a old Xbox 360 controller, but we're going to get in here. Um, all I've done is launch it. I have yet to actually play it, but again, I've watched a few people play it, so I have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. All right, so menu, and that looks like all we've got so far. Let's check this out. Hey, dude. Oh, I can talk to you. Alex, I love to come by to relax and feed the birds. If you're looking for the Museum of Lenova, it's just up ahead. Thanks, Alex. You seem like a stand-up guy. I mean, I doubt there's anything to find in the corners, but curiosity always gets the best of me. What the? You okay, dude? You okay? Alright. Spike! Did you know that true wizards never ever take their hoods off? Never ever? Ever ever ever? Never. Oh, that was Maya was the little girl's name there. Jacob, we love coming to the museum. All the exhibits are so fun and interactive. Melissa, he always gets so excited about this place. Cool. Alright, see if we can talk to this person dashing around over here. Nope. Matt, I'm supposed to meet my friend for the Chaos Trials exhibit, but she's running a bit late. Let's see what this person has to say. Anna, welcome to the Museum of Lenova. Here's a complimentary Airburst Dash Arcana for your convenience. Oh, cool. Okay, so now we can hit press A, and we got Air Dash. So now, hey, I'm doing it too. Am I cool? As cool as you? <laughs> okay, whoops. Info, this way to the Chaos Trials exhibit. That was really intense as I walked up into it. Uh-huh, floating cards and stuff, that's cool. Alright, a uh, lightning element arcana. Earth element arcana. Air element. A fire element. And a water element. On display are some of the arcana that wizards used in the Chaos Trials. These arcana were created by virtuosos who imbued their masterpieces with elements refined from chaos. By channeling their magical energies through these arcana, wizards would summon the powerful elements depicted on these works. Cool. Why walk when we can dash? Mary, it's great that arcana are protected by the magic they're created with. It means I can take all the flash photos I want. <laughs> Sam, it's always surprising to see just how many different arcana they had back in the day. It makes, uh, Hannah, it makes sense, as each arcana crafting virtuoso, virtuoso had different designs and goals in mind. Alright. Oh, so that's what all that noise was. You're over here spamming fireballs. Uh, Kara, yes, this is what I got into costume for. <laughs> Anders, that Dragon Arc Arcana would be awesome at a fireworks show. Okay, we have Base Arc Arcana, Wind Slash, and Standard Arcana, Dragon Arc. Hey there, here are a couple of Arcana for you to try out. While these replicas won't have any real effects, you can use them in the museum's interactive exhibits. Try giving those training dummies a good one, too. Oh, okay. So now we can press Art. Okay, so I have to be up close. Nice. 
Oh, very nice. Oh, it's got a cooldown. Uh, I'm over here trying to do it again. It helps if I guess I'm, if I'm facing the right direction. Okay, so it stacks. It has a couple of uses. Oh, that was fun. I didn't even hit the butt. This controller's a little old, so... Museum Chairman, Don B. Kim. Museum Benefactor, Jason Choi. Museum Benefactors, Jacob Birch, Melissa Hill, and Indy. I'm guessing these are uh, maybe backers or something for the game. Let's see. The Museum of Lenovo would like to thank our most generous sponsors. Nice. Betty, he's so excited to try all the Arcana. Good for you, dude. Well, that's crazy there. Uh, I've read all the books written about Signature Arcana. They all seem to have enhancements that altered their spells in some way to make them more effective. Well, that's cool. Signature Arcana, Signature Arcana were rare, specialized versions of standard Arcana that absorbed nearby magical energy. Okay. Forgot to look at what time I started recording. We should be good. Uh, when fully charged, these Arcana released devastatingly powerful versions of the spell they contained. Uh, these flames feel surprisingly nice and toasty. I'm so glad I didn't bring a sweater. Too hot. Must leave now. <laughs> that's that's how I would be. Signature uh, Arcana Ball Lightning, Flame Breath, and Whirling Tornado. Okay, so if I just hold move in one direction for a long time, I start going faster. That's cool. Signature Arcana were more elaborate in their design and effect when compared to their standard counterparts. Oh, okay. Shooting giant balls of fire from your hands is awesome. I know, right? Use a few slashes to get into the groove, then blast away. Oh, I was stuck on him for a second. Alright, what are you going to give me, Diana? Welcome to the Signature Arcana exhibit. Try this one out. When fully charged, the exploding fireball Signature Arcana lets you hurl three fireballs in quick succession. Signature Arcana are normally charged by striking targets with spells. But for the purposes of this exhibit, you can pick up the blue magic orb in the practice area. So we got the exploding fireball. Got it. Boom. That was pretty cool. Nice. I think we're almost done with here. I know I'm ready to move on and stop just reading about all this. Uh, Council member Frost Queen Freya, Earth Lord Atlas, and Flame Empress Zeal. Uh, Zeal's my favorite. Her style is literally on fire. It appears she has quite the pistol. It, she was quite the pistol indeed. Can't read, apparently. I read somewhere that Freya was the first council member, and Atlas joined shortly after meeting her. That's cool. The Chaos Trials were an annual invitational event administered by the Lenovian Council of Magic. These powerful wizards were masters of their chosen element and fashioned the trials for contestants to undertake. Huh? A mighty Chaos Knight readies for battle. So, oh, these are enemies we're going to see. Stealthy Chaos Rogue shifts into shadows. A fearsome Chaos Mage prepares an arcana. The Chaos Trials featured a variety of formidable foes conjured from Chaos Energy. Some of these conjured enemies would also be imbued with the elements to pose an even greater threat. Uh, these rogues turn invisible. How are they supposed to fight against that? These knights look so menacing with their glowing eyes. These chaos, uh, this chaos army looks pretty strong. Taking on all of them at once would be scary. All right. What do we got here? Chaos Arcana, or specialized Arcana, crafted directly from chaos energies that required great skill and finesse to activate. Only wizards who successfully completed the chaos trials were entrusted with the possession of chaos Arcana. However, very little is known about the use of these Arcana, as none of these legendary wizards are around today. Ah, bummer. Rare Arcana, Chaos Arcana with unknown effects. Let me let me give them a try. I'm sure I can figure out their effects. Chaos Gems were rare crystals that were often used as currency by various artificers of the time. 
Standard metallic coins were also used to trade for goods and services. I totally would have had tons of gems and coins, but definitely not any Chaos Arcana. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to the Chaos Trial Interactive Course. This course will give you an idea of what it was like to take on the Chaos Trials. Good luck. I know you can do it. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, Air Burst Arcana is super useful here. You can use it to dash over pits and away from attacks. So I need to get comfortable with a... Okay. You just say the same thing again. Uh-huh. Freezing Sprite. Oops, I did not mean to hit that button. Alright, gotta get used to the controls. Nice. Okay. Frost fan on the left bumper. Okay. Man, this having so many different moves I can do is going to totally throw me off. I'm good at like a couple of... Ah. <laughs> I'm terrible at the game, apparently. Uh, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit the fan and I hit... Uh, or bumper, and I... I... I am terrible at this. Wow. Okay. Almost went off the edge again. Okay. I keep forgetting about B. Jeez. Okay. So we're off to a rough start, but I'll get the hang of it. Okay, that was a weird direction I had on that. I'm hitting. Okay, so stand here and take it worked on those, but not the weak, the, not some of the other guys. Oh, that that sucked. But hey, that was just that was just warm up. These snacks are perfect after that exercise. Sometimes I think he comes here just for the food. I mean, I like food. Uh, that course is super tiring, but after a few tries, I managed to get the upper hand on that blob. <laughs> Not just, you know, trying to top off the health a little bit, you know, since, you know, I took a lot of unnecessary damage. Alright. One more, and then I'm calling it. Mostly because I got bored. Okay, I didn't know that these wizards ran around with enchanted cloaks, too. Functional and stylish, an elegant combination. Uh, wizards who entered the Chaos Trials were usually garbed in a standard wizarding cloak, as shown here. They were allowed to enter the Trials with one of each of the four classes arcana, as well as a relic of their choosing. That's cool. They finally opened this exhibit, and now I can see why it took so long. With so many exquisite pieces, I can't imagine how long it took to collect them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Uh, or wizards. <laughs> I'm so hungry after that interactive course, I'm going for a sushi dinner course after this. My wife would love that, but I don't actually care for sushi myself. Uh, on display here are some of the relics that were used by wizards in the Chaos Trials. Each of these unique relics had powerful attributes that wizards used to great effect in the Trials. And this is a long intro. Um, I don't see that color in the wardrobe. It's my own enchanted cloak. It makes me twice as charming. So that was him saying that to him. <laughs> Wizarding cloaks used in the Chaos Trials were optimized for quick movement and arcana use. Many of these cloaks were even enchanted by skilled tailors to have a variety of potent effects. Okay... Wizards entering the Chaos Trials often had grimoires full of arcana in their possession. However, as only one arcana of each class could be used in the Trials, they were required to fashion a limited hand uh, that suited their strengths. Cool. With a full grimoire, the arcana combinations must have been endless. It must have taken forever just to pick which ones to use. Thanks, Lenny. 
I agree. Must have taken forever. Okay. I can't talk to anybody here. Cool. Whoa, hello. This section of the exhibit will be open very shortly. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it's not your fault, Zach. Let's see what's going to happen here. Looks like we finally made it to the end of the intro. The insignia of legend was a mark of distinction granted only to those wizards who successfully overcame the Chaos Trials. Other than its ceremonial use, not much else is known about this relic, other than that it was crafted directly from Chaos Energy. Uh-oh, something's happening. So, uh, what's going on? Varus? Oh, that's the mirror. Uh, now that corner is going to be messed up for a few minutes. This, uh, the recording software I'm using for this is kind of messing up some information. Hopefully I can actually uh, just do that for a quick second. There we go. It's gone. Uh, pardon me. Are you all right? That looks like quite a tumble there. Whew, glad to see that you're okay. Welcome to your new home away from home. As a wizard invited to participate in the Chaos Trials, your accommodations and our services are provided by the Magic Council. Also included is a one-time stipend of 100 Chaos Gems. You'll have to excuse the mess. We weren't expecting any guests so soon. But not to worry. We'll have everything sorted out shortly. In the meantime, let's do a round of introductions. Oh, I have to... I'm Varys, the Enchanted Looking Glass. Just stop on by, and I'll tell you how stylish you are. Oh, okay, just repeats himself. Uh, now I'm going to talk to the wardrobe. <laughs> allow, me, uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ward, and all of your enchanted attire will be in my charge. Now let's see what fashionable outfits I have ready for you. So we can stick with the red, or we can go to blue. Hope, patience. Lock, 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 lock. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to blue. More partial blue myself. Though if we get a green one, that's definitely what I'm going to be wearing. Hey, I'm Mimi, and I'll be snacking on all of the relics you find. But don't worry, they'll be safe and ready whenever you need them. Okay, so we have... We actually have a couple relics. Uh-huh. Oh, I actually have to go left or right. There it is. Okay, friendship bracelet. Increase damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. Sure, we'll go ahead and equip it. Um, I don't know how much I can hold. Museum ticket. A ticket to Lenovo Museum's newly opened Chaos Trials exhibit. Okay, and the freezing sprite Naya. Oh yeah, uh, we picked that up somewhere in the intro, or in the museum. Summons a sprite that freezes enemies. Only one sprite can be held at a time. Oh, we're totally equipping that. I think that took off the ring, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. We found that in the the uh, trial thing, and that was circling us for a while. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Tommy. Or Tommy? I'm going to say it's Tommy. Um, and I'll be cataloging all the arcana you come across. Let's peruse through your gallery now. Okay. So we have the Wind Slash. Just a basic, and I it won't let me go left or right, so... And I already have it equipped. So all the spells that I got, which were not supposed to be... Like, they're talking about, like, yeah, these are just fake versions, and then I actually have them. So, you know, I'm down with that. That's That's fine with me. All right. Um, so I've talked to everybody. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to go north here, see what happens. All right, go through the portal. Or the... Yeah, whatever those are called. All right, so we have 100 points. We could start buying stuff, apparently. Stalwart Defenders. I mean, I'm not going to buy anything now. Dark Katana. Dark Katana sounds fun. Designed by Artisan Mathosis Feeder. Whatever. <laughs> this relic triples the critical hit chance for all melee arcana. That's cool. So it would up the wind slash. 
I wondered if I could break the boxes. I should have broke the boxes at my place. Hmm? Okay. I just walked into that and exploded. Lenovo Plaza is always so lively. This is from all around the world. Um, yes, from all around the world. Come here to train and participate in the Chaos Trials. Halt! Only wizards who have been invited to participate in the Chaos Trials allowed past this point. Oh, you're the last minute entrant. The council has informed us of your arrival. You are free to proceed. Weird. Um, Fenris, I was finally able to meet Frost Queen Freya, but she defeated me in a matter of seconds. Just thinking about her cold laugh sends chills down my spine. Okay, so these are all other participants, I guess. We'll talk to them real quick, but mostly, wow. Alright. Oh, hey. There's the green one. Increases run speed, increases evade chance. Light blue, increases max health, decreases cooldown. Increases gold gain, increases gem gain. I kind of want to go ahead and... Nah, we'll stick with the blue one for a while. Bored with your outfit? I can add my own special twist. The Seville Special. I will remove your outfit's current enchantments and shift it to a fast-paced uh, blend of vigor and tempo. It'll be five gems to alter your outfit. Do you have a deal? No thanks. That's cool. Uh, Cedric, it's great that uh, they allow you to participate in the Chaos Trials with a friend. Although I can't say I was really useful in our last attempt. It's okay. Our teamwork uh, has really been improving. I'm sure we can do even better next time. Yeah, I may come back to this. Uh, I'm going to definitely do a couple of videos to introduce, you know, some of the fun stuff that's going on with Humble Bundle right now. Uh, and uh, if I can find a friend... Uh, who either does gets the Humble Bundle or already has this, I may do some co-op. Uh, I've, partic I've participated in the Chaos Trials for so many years, I've managed to gain some clout with the Council. Perhaps you'd like to visit a, particularly, a particular Council member first in the Trials. A few gems could go a long way. Would you like to begin in the Chilling Dungeon for 10 Chaos Gems? No thanks. I already talked to you. You there, your eyes tell me you're searching for a real challenge. I know a way through the Chaos Trials that will test even the greatest of wizards. How about it? It'll cut just cost you 10 gems to test your true potential. Nah, I'm not ready. I haven't even gone through it once yet. What is life without some mystery? How about we shuffle things around for your next run through the Chaos Trials? It'll cost just 10 gems for a randomized build. No thanks. I mean, even if I did that, it would just pick with what I've got right now. Did I talk to you? Nope. A fine day to be out. I'm looking to purchase some Chaos Gems from aspiring young wizards. I'll pay 200 gold for 20 of your Chaos Gems. Sounds enticing to you? Not today. Alright. So, I guess I can do a challenge. I think that's uh, what that's going to do. Alright. <laughs> ah, Kamehameha! That's what I'm going to think every time with that. Alright, let's just get in here. We'll do a quick run, because I have a feeling I'm not going to last that long. So that's why I'm saying a quick run. And uh, then we'll call this first video good. Oops. X, not A. Alright, so we're starting off in the woods. Alright. So if you hadn't figured it out um, from the museum stuff, uh, with little I know about this anyways, is that um, you uh, go through and challenge each of those council member characters. Ouch. Oh, I don't have that fan move. I was trying to do that. I was facing the wrong way. Man. Dang it, he was in the air. Okay. We're just warming up, we're just warming up. Alright, let's try... So we need to... If you can see on the mini-map, we need to clear so much of the map. Um, let's just do that. Thanks for some health back. Alright. 
starting to get the hang of this. I think I'm getting the hang of this, but yes, we want to explore, uh, reveal, and clear as much of the map as possible to get the most out of this. Um, I think... I think we want to explore more. I'm not certain what that portal leads to. That might be the way to move on, but we're not going to do it yet. I want to try to get some health back. And I... Oh, I can change direction. Okay, so I'm figuring out the controls so I can actually change that fire move while it's happening, which direction it's pointing. All right, all right. We found a merchant. We have only 43 gold. Um, the air here is so invigorating. I feel 10 years younger. All right, well, anyways, we don't have enough gold for anything, and all I would do is healing potion at the moment anyways. Oh, that brought us here. Cool. That brings us back to the beginning. I like that. Thought something might be underneath there. I totally didn't mean to do that at an angle, but I did. Just, you know, throwing away my health. Because I don't, I don't actually need it. Having health is for, for noobs. Ouch. I hit that. Okay. Alright. I swear I'm hitting the buttons. I'm trying to do the moves. Alright. Um, no, no, no. I press that to pull up the menu, but that for the map. There we go. So we need to go back to the center and go north or south. I didn't think pushing that would, uh, I'm used to be the, you know, like, <sighs> the, uh, me falling to my, uh, down into there is going to do more damage than the freaking enemies. Let's go north. My goodness. Oh, what the? All right, let's beat the crap out of this piñata. I don't even know if I'm hurting it. Okay, out of star. What'd you say? Let's try to read that. Fully healed, you'll have to hit harder. Okay, something about hitting harder. Okay. So, if I... Oh, man. Okay. Dang it. Okay, my little freeze guy is throwing things off. Okay. Dang it. I'm only getting about half his health down. All right. Oh, I didn't think that would bring me here. Let's bring go here, because we've got about 76% of the map uh, cleared. I'm hoping to get about 100 gold, too. Okay. Was that all of them? Nope. Because I want to buy some health, since I am doing terrible. More of... Okay. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Can I kill those? Yes, I can. Uh, down to 55 health left. Okay. It's kind of some kind of spells merchant. Um, an enhanced wind blade. I'm, I'm so low on health, though. I have to go back to the shop and buy the health. Alright, got 200 health back. 92% um, of the map cleared. What did I miss? Oh, down over there. Let's go back to the center. Go to the bottom right. We might have more enemies. Yep. 
Oh, ouch. Ah, oh, and I threw the fireball. Oh, there goes all the health. Oh, my goodness. I turned the wrong direction. I keep turning. Yeah, yeah. I kept doing my moves the wrong way, so I totally screwed that up. Well, we know we were in there for six and a half minutes. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I'm going to call this good because the intro took so long. So I'm going to call this part good. Um, we're definitely going to do more of this. I was originally only planning maybe like a two-part, but I actually was thoroughly enjoying that despite me doing terrible. Um, okay, the place looks a lot better now. So they're over here. What do you have to say? It's a lovely day for nostalgia, isn't it? Sure is. Would you like to relive your trip to the museum? No. <laughs> no, thank you. All right. Cool, cool. Just going to break all the boxes in my place. And table, apparently, too. You know, it's all good. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I'm going to call that good. Uh, but we'll be back for more. Plenty more. Um, let me know what you're thinking about this. Like, subscribe, comment. All that helps me out. Uh, in the meantime, though, I'm going to see you in the next part. Bye.